Eartha Kitt. Comedian Chris Spencer. Judy Tanuda. Kennedy. And our center square. Our new champion, Carol Lane, ready to uh, defend her championship against the new Mr. X, James DiGiacomo. Welcome, James. Good Thanks to have you here. You. Why, don't, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm us. from uh, Colonia, New Jersey. I'm a landscape designer, and I speak fluent Italian. I have a special roommate at home that's 95 years old and likes to say hello. Her name's Ione. All right. All right, here's the deal. Uh, it's best two out of three games. That's uh, how we play it. Uh, and of course, if you win two games, you go on to the bonus round as our new champ or defending champ, Carol. But as the challenger, you get to start. I'd like to start with Stephen Collins, please. Stephen Collins. All right, Stephen. <laughs> Bill Gates says he once rigged the scheduling program of his high school so that it would work in his favor. What did it do? It made the school shut down and restart. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I believe it got him out of P.E. I disagree. Made him one of the only boys in a class full of girls. Uh, X oh. gets the square there. <laughs> Carol. Martin Mall, please. Martin Mall. All right, Martin. Uh, why can't you visit the islands of Longerhorns? Me? Well, it's, it's a long story, <laughs> and it's kind of embarrassing. It, it involves a gerbil and some irresponsible drinking, and I... I <laughs> No, actually, you can't visit the, uh, those islands because they are, I think they're, they're either part of the brain or part of the pancreas, uh, which is, <laughs> as you can see from the nine of us up here, it's pretty much interchangeable. <laughs> uh, um, it's either, it's in the body. Oh, it's in the body, is exactly. I, I agree. It is, yeah, part of the pancreas, right. That's, that's it. Circle gets it. James? I'd like to go with uh, Chris Spencer. Chris Spencer. All right, Chris. What does, um... What does etiquette expert Letitia Baldridge say you should always do before entering your friend's swimming pool? Pee pee and boo boo first. <laughs> <laughs> Shower. I disagree. According to Letitia Baldridge, shower. Yes, that's right. Circle gets the square. Carol. Uh, Eartha Kitt, please. Eartha Kitt would have gone to Penn and Teller for the win, but we'll see how this works. She All hates right, us. Eartha. She Reese. hates us. You'll pay for that. Oh, you will pay. <laughs> Take her out, Eartha. Take her out. <laughs> Eartha, researchers in Italy have found that this healthy snack can help rid you of migraines. What is it? Well, I would say it's either garlic or onions, but I don't think that's the answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I lived in Italy for a while, and they ate an awful lot of yogurt. Okay, yogurt. So I think they think yogurt is yogurt? good for everything. Right. I disagree. Yogurt it is, mm. yes. It uh, gets rid of migraine-causing bacteria. <laughs> X, <laughs> X gets the square. Will, will Carol make up with an embittered Penn and Teller? <laughs> we'll find out when the show <laughs> comes right back. First game of the best two out of three match, our new challenger, James DiGiacomo, your turn. I'd like to go with Penn and Teller, please. Penn and Teller! James. Okay, guys. In his hit song, aside from the word it's, what's the first thing Tom Jones says is not unusual? It's not unusual for a man in his late 60s to be wearing leather pants in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James. For your kindness, I'm going to give this to you on a platter, okay? It's not unusual to go out with anyone. I disagree. He got you. See, uh, I, yeah. even, I didn't even try to help to, him out. To be loved. Of course not. Anyone. Nicely Excellent. done, James. Yes, it's square. Nice. And the boys for disappearing platter. Carol. Kennedy, please, for Kennedy. the block. Kennedy, all right, for the block. Good enough, Kennedy. Here we go. What is sold with the slogan, all you add? is love. All you add is love. Yeah. That is from the American Beef Council. I disagree. It's Purina <laughs> Dog Chow. Oh, Circle. Yes. Gets the block. Yes. All right, James. 
I like to go with uh, Judy Tenuta. Judy Tenuta for the win. For the win. All right. Hi. Judy, Scandal Meter is a, a weekly feature in the National Enquirer. It's yes, I do say sassy things, Tom. Yeah, you better watch you, out. I bet you do. What was Arnold Schwarzenegger in charge of in the first Bush administration? Teaching George Jr. how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> or keeping him away from the minibar, no. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. Definitely. He was in charge of... Pumping up the president. Physical fitness. I disagree. Well, he was in charge of the president's council on physical fitness, which was pumping up everybody, not just the president. So X gets the square and the win for $1,000. All right, we're going to go right into another $1,000 game. I should mention for Carol to retain the championship, she has to win the next two games. This one has a secret square. John, what's in the secret square stash? Come on and do the conga with me, cause you're going to see Gloria Estefan in concert in Las Vegas! You and a guest will enjoy four nights of luxury and impeccable service at the legendary Caesars Palace! Plus, be among the first to see the multi-talented Gloria Estefan's exclusive concert engagement live and unwrapped in the Coliseum, the resort's spectacular state-of-the-art entertainment venue! All right, let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. Okay. All right, uh, James, you won the first game. You start. I would like to start with Stephen Collins again. Stephen Collins, all right. Here we go, Stephen. <laughs> Sit on the howda, relax, don't resist, and sway with the motion is the correct way to do what? Join the Mile High Club. <laughs> uh, I believe it's hang glide. Hang glide. I disagree. Ride an elephant or camel? X gets the square. Carol. Martin Mall, please. Martin Mall. All right, Martin. On TV, on TV, whose catchphrase was, sorry about that, Chief? The Lone Ranger used to say that to Tonto when they were sitting around the campfire having beans. <laughs> the, uh, sorry about that, Chief, was Maxwell Smart. I agree. Yes, that's right. Uh, Don Adams, right. Circle gets it. Jane. Uh, Penn and Teller, please. Penn and oh, Teller. Nice. Okay, guys, there we go. True or false, the 2003 Grammy Awards gift bag for the stars included a blood pressure monitor. They've given everything else over the years. Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll agree. Yeah, it, it fits on your wrist like a watch. Yeah. X. Yes, this is where we are out of time. So when we come back tomorrow, Carol, who has to win this game and the next one to retain her championship, and James, who could be on the brink of stealing it away, will be right here. I'm Tom Bergeron on behalf of all our stars. We're hoping you're right here, too. See you then on Hollywood Square. Fine show. Welcome to Hollywood Squares with Martin Mull and our gang and our big tic tac toe board. And we welcome back our returning champion. She's already got $5,500 in cash. Carol Lane. Welcome back, Carol. <laughs> Good to see you. You're being challenged by James DiGiacomo in the exposition. Hey, James. Yesterday, we were in the middle of a secret square game, and the board looked like this. Now, let's just remind all of you at home who the secret square is. <laughs> okay. Uh, Carol has to win this game and the next to retain her championship. And Carol, it was your turn. Kennedy for the block. Yeah, oh, secret square. Kennedy for the block. All right, Kennedy, a little uh, visual help here. In which film would you find this scene of Winona Ryder secretly writing in her diary in Reality Bites, Heathers, or Girl Interrupted? The answer is, Carol, and I didn't steal this one from Saks Fifth Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is, girl interrupted. For the secret square and the block. I agree. You are right. Girl interrupted. You're going to Vegas. You see Claudia Estefan. James? I'd like Tyson Beckford for the block. Tyson too. Beckford Be for the block. All right, Tyson. Look, look. Which, yeah. uh, which yeah. U.S. president, Tyson, recently had his underwear sold at auction for $5,000? I'd have to say my man Bill Clinton, straight out of Harlem, baby. 
Bill Clinton. I'm going to agree. John Kennedy. Uh, his boxers went for five grand. Can't give you that one, Carol. Oh, that's Tyson Beckford for the win, please. And a tie game if you get it. All right. Tyson, the author of Parade Magazine's Ask Marilyn column is listed as having the largest of these in the world. The largest what? Mmm. Fan club. I disagree. No, her IQ. It's uh, reportedly 228. Circle gets it. <laughs> we have a tie game. All right. Our tiebreaker game is worth $1,000. Carol, you kick it off. Martin Mall, please. All right, Martin. Here we go. Thank you. Which movie star did ladies on date.com say they'd most want to be stranded on a desert island with? Um, Mr. Ed. And don't ask. <laughs> um, boy, isn't it always Sean Connery? Isn't it? Seems like it. It Sean, seems like it's always Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. I'm going to go with the old Scotsman there. Sean Connery. I Con will disagree. Sean Connery, yeah. Johnny Depp was number two. Ashton Kutcher was number three. X gets that one. James, your turn. I'd like Junie Tenuta, please. Junie Tenuta, her CD, A Space Goddess, is in stores now <laughs> oh, and in her square. You have a Scottish name that begins with Mac. What does it mean? It means you're not compatible with Windows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a Mac attack, a Mac attack! Oh, no, I... <laughs> no, I know what it means, James. It mean, Mac means the son of. The son of. I agree. That is correct. Son of X gets the square. Stephen Collins, his CD, the CD is available on stephencollins.com of all places Amen. and in his square. All right, Stephen, every Sunday you and your wife drive to a Jewish delicatessen for a cup of coffee. If you're a Mormon, what's wrong with that statement? Well, you didn't specify which wife. <laughs> um. That's good there. <laughs> I, I believe it's that Mormons do not engage in commerce on Sundays. All right, no commerce on Sunday. I disagree. They, they're forbidden coffee. to drink coffee. Coffee is the problem. Circle gets a block there. All right, James. I can go with Eartha Kitt, please. Eartha Kitt, yeah. starring in anything but love in theaters now. Yes. Eartha James Brown and his wife took out a full-page ad in Variety, complete with a family picture at Disney World, to announce they are doing what? This is the stupidest thing I think anyone would do. But knowing James Brown the way I do, <laughs> it would be to get a divorce. I disagree. To get a divorce. Yeah, yeah that's right. Circle gets the square. Carol? Uh, Penn and Teller, please. Penn and Teller! Bygones are bygones, Penn and Carol. Teller's bull! Funky. Second season on Showtime 2004. Guys, Ari Fleischer said, the best moment of his job as White House press secretary was when George W. Bush asked him to do what? Explain Marmaduke. <laughs> Crazy dog. It's hard to get those cartoons sometimes. You have to, you have, to have them explained to you. No, I think it was something, um, just one of those kind of repulsive, macho things like, like play catch on the White House lawn. Something to put you off your food. Play catch on the White something House like lawn. That, yeah. I disagree. Play. I gave it to you! I Play gave it to the the right I tried X. to make up for you! Square. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll hose down Penn and be right back with more right after this. If you're just joining us, we're in the rubber game of a match. Carol will either successfully defend her championship or James will snatch it away in the next few moments. James, it is your turn. Chris Spencer for the win, please. All right, Chris Spencer to become champion. Chocolate Sundays he hosts at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood Sunday nights at 8 and 10.30. Chris, the ones in red, blue, green, yellow, and pink are called fancies. What are they? Uh, Skittles? Skittles? Skittles. I disagree. You are the new champion. Diamonds! Diamonds! X gets it! And the win! But Carol 
Carol, you leave us with a total of $9,165 in cash and trips. It's been a pleasure having you here. Stay right here for just a moment, if you would. James DiGiacomo with two grand. You're our new champion. Thank Congratulations. You. Now let's play the bonus round. All right. all right. Up to now, we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here's where we find out how much you know about them. All right, James, take a look at these nine keys over here. One of them opens this nifty trunk. What's in it this time, John? Pack your sunscreen for your Mediterranean cruise. Woo! Costa Cruises Europe's number one cruise line offers you and a guest an eight-day Western Mediterranean cruise aboard the five-star Costa Victoria. Experience the romantic flavors of Italy, France, and Spain, cruising Italian style. From Costa Cruise Lines, it's a trip of a lifetime. Yep, indeed. All right, James, you pick a square. I read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your chances to go on that cruise. 30 seconds on the clock for our new champ. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Steven. Appeared on the show Good Heavens before working on Seventh Heaven. Agree. Right, next. Kenny. Once licked a microphone during a TV appearance with Rudy Giuliani. Agree. Right, next. Ben Teller. Wrote a book called How to Play in Traffic. Agree. Right, next. Uh, Gina. Appeared in both Robocop films. Uh, disagree. Right, next. Martin. Was a celebrity tour guide at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Disagree. Right, next. Eartha. Was called the most exciting woman in the world by Orson Welles. Agree. Right, next. Uh, Chris. Did his first commercial at six years old for Tough Stuff Toys. Agree. Right, next. Tyson. Played the Sousaphone in high school. Uh, disagree. Right, next. Judy. Played the Rainer Bobbin in Weird Al Yankee. Yes, he got yes! it! Yes! 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 Thank you. Oh, my God. All right, James. Come on. Yes! Oh, man. All right over here. Stand right over here. I got to tell you, I could feel you on a roll to get him. I haven't talked that fast since I was audited. I'm from New York. <laughs> that was amazing. All right. Well, you know, it's sort of a foregone conclusion. Let's just take away all the bad keys and show them the one that's going to send them on that cruise. Right oh, there. Take yeah. it away. Thank you. Open it up. All right. A 95 year old roommate buying sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> that means so far as champion, you got $12,006 in cash and food. We're going to meet James' new challenger when we come back. What right after this? Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Welcome back, and we want to welcome back James Giacomo, our defending champion. Now, nice run on that board there yeah. for that trip. You are being challenged in the circle position now by Robin Thede. Welcome, Thank Robin. You. Welcome to the Nut House. Good to have <laughs> you here. Tell us about yourself. I'm a freelance database manager and former puppeteer from Davenport, Iowa. And in 2000, I was proud to be honored with the Hearst Journalism Award as one of the top four college journalists in the country. Very nice. All right. <laughs> All right, Robin, you know the drill. Two out of three games for a match to become the champion and move on to the bonus round. As the challenger, you get to kick this match off. All right, Martin Mull, please. All right, Martin. If you are wearing a traditional kimono, what does it mean if you have long sleeves? Um, I believe it means that uh, he is a she. I think uh, it, the ladies wear the long sleeves and, uh, and uh, the guys wear right. the... Uh, it means you're, you're a woman. I will disagree. It means you're single. Short sleeves means you're married. Ah. Circle gets that one. Jane. Uh, Judy Tenuta, please. Judy Tenuta. All right, Judy. Whose theme song begins, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family? <laughs> oh, 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 that would be my favorite big purple thing, Barney. <laughs> Barney. And I agree. Barney it is, yes. The classic Barney songbook. All right, Robin. Gina Lee Nolan. Gina Lee Nolan. All right, Gina Lee. Minnesota. 
Oh, yes. Minnesota is Favorite. the land of 10,000 lakes, but does it have the most of any state? Well, Normie, uh, <laughs> has a whole lot of lakes. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> um, I'll say yes. I'll agree. No. Wisconsin has 14,000. Alaska has 3 million. Get out. Yeah, so uh, X gets I had that no idea. one, James. Sorry. I'd like to go with Chris Spencer, please. Chris Spencer. All right, Chris. In the, uh, in the Fantastic Four comic books, the invisible woman disappears, human torch lights up. What's the power of Mr. Fantastic? He's the one that makes the human torch light up. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Four, I was a big fan. I believe he read minds. Okay. I disagree. No, he's elastic. He can stretch his body in all kinds of interesting And then he stretches. X gets the square there, Robin. I'll take Stephen Collins for the block. Stephen Collins for the block. All right, Stephen. When you hold, when you hold a seashell up to your ear, what are you really hearing? Those voices inside my head telling me I'll never amount to anything. <laughs> <laughs> they just got louder. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing a very faint echo. An echo. I'll agree. You're hearing the movement of air in the shell. So an echo would not be the same thing, right, Judge? That is correct. So, all right, so I can't give you that one, James. You have to earn it yourself. Uh, I'd like to go with Stephen Collins for all the right, win, for please. for the win, then $1,000. All right, Stephen. The New York Times reports that Americans are three times as likely as Frenchmen to be what? I believe it's be overweight. All right, for the win. I agree. Yes, to be obese. X gets it and the win for $1,000. When we come back, a secret square $1,000 game right after this. Stick around. Free hotline 800 591 5020. Give us a call, pro or con. You may hear yourself at the end of one of our shows. All right. $1,000 secret square game is about to kick off. Let's find out what's in the secret square stash. John? Throw away your credit card. It's a Bloomingdale shopping spree. <laughs> New York's legendary shopping experience, now nationwide and online at Bloomingdale's.com. Synonymous with excitement, luxury, attitude, and style, Bloomingdale's, it's like no other store in the world. All righty, let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. Okay, James, our defending champ, you won the last game, you start. I'd like to start with Judy Tenuta, please. Judy Tenuta, all right, Judy. <laughs> Long before there was electricity, what did physicians in ancient Rome use to shock patients? They would... <laughs> Look at me, I'm Angelina Jolie. <laughs> no, um... <laughs> I would... They would channel electricity. Channel lightning, I mean, channel lightning. I disagree. They would use electric eels, is what they would do. X <gasps> gets the get square those? there. Robin? I'll take Kennedy, please. Kennedy. All right, here we go. From a survey by a national men's magazine, who is more likely to be seeing someone simply for sex, a man or a woman? Well, Tom, I think the answer is quite obvious. I think it's a game show host, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to say a woman. I'll agree. According to this national men's magazine, <laughs> A woman. Yes, that's right. Circle gets that one. James? I'd like Chris Spencer, please. Chris Spencer. All right, Chris. The T-shirt was popularized nearly a century ago when the Navy distributed them to sailors for one specific purpose. What was that purpose? Well, you can't have a wet T-shirt contest without a T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, for warmth. For warmth. I disagree. No, to cover their chest hair from being seen through their uniforms. X gets that one. Robin. Tyson Beckford for the block. Tyson for the block. All right, Tyson. By the, by the age of 18... All right, sir, calm down. Uh, <laughs> by, the, by the age of 18, have kids spent more time in the classroom or watching television? 
Wow, that's kind of easy. I say uh, watching television. I'll disagree. Yeah, by a long shot. Watching television. Yes, that's right. Can't give you that one, James. Mr. Tyson Beckford for the All win, right, please. All right, you get it. You're still champion. All right, Tyson, for the championship, Reader's Digest says this is the best type of food you can eat to make a bruise go away faster. What kind of food is it? Hmm, would it be uh, a banana? A banana. I disagree. Dark green leafy vegetables like spinach. X gets it and the win. For $2,000, Penn & Teller. We're our secret square and we are out of time, Robin. We're going to give you some lovely Thank party you. gifts. It's been a pleasure having you here on Hollywood Square. James, you are still our champion. When we come back tomorrow, we're going to play the bonus round again with our champ. You'll be playing for a safe full of cash. But you got to wait a day. I'm Tom Berger on behalf of all our stars. See you then on Hollywood Square. Bye-bye. Thank you, John Machito. Welcome to Hollywood Squares. Martin Mull and all our gang and our big, brightly lit tic-tac-toe board. Welcome back to you. And welcome to our returning champion, James DiGiacomo. Hey, good to see you, James. See you got $14,006 in cash and cruise prizes. At the end of yesterday's show, James had successfully defended his championship, so we were right on the brink of the bonus round. So that's where we pick up today. Now, you recall yesterday you found out a little bit about what the stars knew. Here's where we find out how much you know about them, James. All right, James, take a look over here at these nine keys. Since you won the trip yesterday, today one of these keys will open this safe in which we've crammed $10,000 in cash. And as yesterday, you pick a square. I read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square at the end of 30 seconds. For every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your chances of opening the safe. 30 seconds on the clock for our champ. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Steven. Steven's legally blind in his right eye. Uh, disagree. Wrong. Next. Kennedy. Her original disc jockey name was the Virgin Kennedy. Disagree. Wrong. Next. Penn and Teller. Penn and Teller faced off against Siegfried and Roy on Circus of the Stars. Agree. Wrong. Next. Gina Lee Gina Lee owns a line of swimwear called Exposed. Agree. Wrong. Next. Martin Moore. Martin's great grandmother invented elbow macaroni. Disagree. Right. Next. Ertha. Was born on a cotton plantation in South Carolina. Agree. Right. Next. Chris. Toured with Jeff Foxworthy. Agree. Right. Next. Tyson. Image was featured in a wit. Museum of Art Exposition. Disagree. R uh, wrong. Next. Judy. Had to borrow clothes from a drag queen when an airline lost her. Yes, he agreed. Is that all right? He got it at the buzzer. Yes, that's right. He got that one. All right, James. Let's go count some keys. All right, 30 seconds. You got four correct answers, which means we take away four of the bad keys. One of those five will get you $10,000. I'm going to go with this one. All right, good luck, James. Oh, no, that one's not going to come right over here. Right, stand right here. If you wouldn't, we'll take a look at which key would have opened the safe. All right, right over here. We'll give you $500 for every correct answer. So currently as champion, you got $16,006. And it's time to find out who James' new challenger is. John? She's a video editor from Northridge, California, Gladys Jimenez. <laughs> Hello, Gladys. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. I hear you're a tap dancer. Is that right? I do. I've been tap dancing since I was eight years old. Really? Can yeah. you do a little right here? Sure. Do a little basic step. There you go. Gladys! Jimenez, sorry. All right, well, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. And I uh, just want to remind you, it's the uh, best two out of three matches we play now, and that'll get you to the bonus round if you win uh, two games out of three. As the challenger, Gladys, you get to start. Excellent. I'll take Martin Maul, please. All right, Martin Maul. Here we go. <laughs> Martin, in a recent survey, Two-thirds of Americans can't name one of these people. Only 1% knew there's one named John Paul Stevens. Who are they? Well, that would have to be members of the cast of Yes, Dear. <laughs> <laughs> or conceivably, um, it could also be the Supreme Court. I agree. Yeah, they're Supreme Court justices. Yes, yeah, Circle gets that one. James. Uh, Judy Tenuta, please. Judy Tenuta, <laughs> producer star of the indie feature film Desperation Boulevard on DVD and stores now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Here we go, Judy. At the end of Edgar Allan Poe's story, The Telltale Heart, where does the narrator believe he hears a heartbeat? Ooh, from Dick Cheney. <laughs> but they're not sure. <laughs> no, I know this one. I know this one. Under the floor. I disagree. Under the floorboards. Yes, yeah, Circle gets that one. Break for you, Gladys. I will go for Stephen Collins for the win. Please. All right, Reverend Eric Camden on Seventh Heaven Monday nights on the WB. Stephen, why is selling paper pants and shirts such a big business at the Vatican? Because the midnight mass is performed by Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tie-in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe it's because there is ongoing restoration and it's just it's to protect clothes from falling dust. All right, because of the restoration work. I disagree. You can't wear shorts or sleeveless tops inside. Paper, you can though. Circle gets it on the win for a quick $1,000. Time to play a $1,000 secret square game. Here's what's in the secret square stash. Viva vacation. It's a spa holiday in Mexico. You and a guest will spend six nights at the Hosteria Las Quintas Echo Spa in Cuernavaca, Mexico. Pamper yourself with garden room accommodations, daily spa treatment, and gourmet meals from Hosteria Las Quintas Echo Spa. All right, thank you, John. Let you all of you at home who the secret square is. Now you know, James, you have to win this game and the next to retain your championship. Gladys, you win this game. You're the new champion. You start. I'll start with Martin Mulkey. All right, Martin. What method of delivery did Harry Winston use to transport the Hope Diamond to the Smithsonian? Ah, uh, well, how do I say this? It involved a balloon, a glass of oil, and a large bowl of raisin bran. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I want to go in any further. Uh, <laughs> Uh, by cab. He took a cab. All right. I disagree. Very trusting soul. He mailed it. First class mail. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Circle gets the square. Holy mackerel. <laughs> we'll get a break. We'll come back. Who will be our champion? We may find out in minutes. Stick around. Welcome back. We're in a secret square game, and our defending champion, James, has to win this one and the next one to hold on to his championship. Your turn, James. Stephen Collins. All right, Stephen, here we go. Your two-year-old son likes to play with girls' dolls and jewelry. According to Woman's World, what does this mean? He may someday grow up to marry Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <laughs> no. We kid, we kid, we kid. Uh... I think it would mean that he'll grow up to be more creative. I agree. Means absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly normal, doesn't mean a damn thing. Circle gets it. Gladys. I'm going with Judy Tenuta for the win. And the championship, yeah! if you get it. Right. Oh, yeah! You're working it! Judy, as reported by CNN.com, if your spouse is sleepwalking, is it dangerous to wake him up? Yes, if I'm with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my love pig. Um, yeah, oh, it is dangerous. You're not supposed to wake... So it, it is dangerous, yeah. I'm going to disagree. That's an old wives' tale. It's not dangerous. No, there's no problem. Circle gets the square and is our new champion. Perfect hit was our secret square this game. James. You leave us with a total of $16,006 in cash. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.